Hello, can you hear? Can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? Oh, so we have yo everybody. We have the match of the century today. We have Nick the Nubinator versus Xavier. Hmm. And so the lineup. It's quite standard. We have Vengeful Spirit and Blood Singer. I think they're gonna kick each other's. Let's see who will kick each other's ass. Winner gets a free trick for me. Plain Prata, one only. And yes, match of the century. Match of the century. Let's go. And now on both ends, let's Prepare see. Prepare for battle! Prepare for battle! Both coaches, very serious. With their teaching. Wow, and then... Uh, let's see. Bloodseeker and the Dire Team. There you see Xavier. Full of confidence. And you're meeting in the middle, the first clash begins. Let's see here. Huh? Whoa. Whoa. 30 seconds to battle. Whoa. Get, uh, they better get uh, distracted. Come on, Xavier! Come on, Nick! Cannot give too much hints. Later, uh, they get. Cannot give too much hints. Later. Oh, very close. The kills are all very, very close. 6 1 to 5 1. Oh, and the first one is there. But why the hell did Xavier did that? <laughs> hope it's a good start. Level 3, level 3. Well, I hope Vengeful Spirit. Oh, but strangely, Vengeful Spirit is getting more XP. Hmm. in for the first hello 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 <laughs> oh and who will have first blood will it be the blood seeker 
Four. And there, the first hit. It's a nice one. Both level 4 with BS having the slight advantage in HP. Let's take a look at the game stats. Mm. Current goal was about 100 goal more only. Quite pathetic. But then, you know, this is a new burst game. So who gives a damn? There we see both noobs. Well, not bad, huh, Nicholas? you improving huh? quite well. Over a few days, I see that you are getting skillful. What the hell, we just lost the cut up. Then my hope. Hope oh. Then my hope my Xavier doing? Running around. Probably hum. But then again, oh we currently see now. Oh we have uh, Nick having a goal advantage, almost 300 goals. Oh, and then he for the but I don't think he can do anything. That was a brave start. But both are in level 5. Who have the advantage? Hmm. Hope he goes in for the wave of terror. Come easy. And the gold graph, not much of a difference, 200 gold. Oh, oh and there, both are level 6 now, they can use their ulti, and there they go, are they going to start off? Oh no, Xavier just, oh, Xavier is, what is Xavier doing? Never mind, he's waiting, I don't know what he's waiting for. What is happening? Oh, that was almost, almost a slight miscast there. He has no vision, that is why he's struggling. Come on, Bloodseeker, why so hum? Don't hum, don't hum. Oh, oh god, what are you doing now? Oh no, 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 what the hell is he doing? Ah! Whoa, that was a nice one. And, oh my god! Oh my god, can you believe it? Oh my god, what the hell was that? He walked towards the waterfall and he got killed. Oh god, that's impossible. But never mind, that was a good start there. Ah. We see 300 go advantage on Xavier. Now he's going in for those good farming. And creeps. Ah. Xavier, why are you standing there for? You should go and farm. Xavier! Ah. Oh, yep. Uh, Xavier going in for the farm again. Oh, yep. Oh, and you see his uh, ulti. Getting a recharge. And now his rupture is ready again. Oh, is he gonna go in one more time? Oh, come on, Nick. Why aren't you using a stun? Oh, and then he uses it. Oh, finally he decided. Oh, who was that? Now oh, he goes in. No. Really? Damn. Come on, Xavier, you got lasers, use the lasers. Yeah, yeah man, you mean what? You didn't even know that you had stun? Oh god. And Xavier, having a slight advantage in gold, now off to buying a ring of. Eh? No, that's. Okay, and you got. A nice band of Elven Skin Power Tracks. Hope oh, aiming for a Yaksha, that'd be good. And with Nick, 
with a uh, ring of Aquila, mana regeneration. I wonder what's uh, Xavier waiting for again. Oh, and somebody pauses the game for a while for a team break, color break. Oh, okay, he goes in for a resume. This is a mistake there. Somebody resumes. Okay, I'll resume. Now you can see the difference in XP earning. Oh, oh, oh. Why does he always cast it so far away? Oh, that was a very good play there. Venture Spirit decided to keep still. But then he loses the opportunity to gain XP. Has to teleport all the way. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. I guess you know what's rupture. Lah. He suddenly stopped. But then again, the Blood Spirit, sorry, the Blood Spirit, Blood Seeker should have went up front to give a good whacking before he casts his rupture. But then again, look at his rupture, it's about to end. Five seconds more. Four, three, two, one. Maybe he's afraid of a stun. But then again, he should move forward. At least the advantage goes over to Vengeful Spirit. Let's see now. Both go graph. Uh, Vengeful Spirit. Pathetically, with only 200 gold. Blood Seeker almost 800. Looks like he can go for something better soon. Going for Yaksha, I guess. Hmm. Looks like he's just farming, taking the opportunity to farm now. Not bad, Blood Seeker with. 37 last hits and Vengeful Spirit killing 10 less. Oh, and we do see a Yaksha. Spirit, buying a town portal so he has a new hobby buying town portals instead of uh, observing walks First tower now. Oh, and we see the vengeful spirit coming in. Radiance Middle nice. Tower is under attack. Oh, is that what's happening? Radiant team attacking the first tower of the Dyer. And we have a good coach behind, always giving 
looks like Kenny is giving more more environment awareness to the extent of allowing telling him where should we get a tangle from or tree. Wow, I cannot believe after five minutes Vengeful Spirit still stuck Come on, you should go in for the hit first then cast your rupture uh, Run away now, run away, run away, run away Yes, you'll die, you'll die at the fountain Swap there. There's a good swap and he's still rupture. Oh, rupture. Oh, come on. What the heck? It is rupture. Yes. Rub, 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 rub. You pull it. Pull it. Oh my goodness. That was a good play there by Vengeful Spirit. What the hell Bloodseeker was doing? His rupture was ready. That is a nice one there. One versus one. Finally, Vengeful Spirit having a good kill and a good lump of gold. Hope he gets something good instead of buying TPs. Yeah, what was Blood Spirit doing? Is that Blood, Blood Seeker doing? <laughs> Blood Spirit, well done. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, man, distracted. Nonetheless, come on, Blood Seeker, what is standing there? Oh, wrong one. Sorry, I'm Come on, let's go. Used to be. That is for certain. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. There's good play there. Dyer's and whoa, first tower goes. Well done, goes to Vengeful Spirit. Looks like this misery. is an absolutely fair game. Yeah. Seems like the demon has possessed Nicholas suddenly. Oh, what's happening? Oh, and Xavier decided that it's time for him to run away again. Is it a good game for the Dio team? Got five minutes. Nope, not exactly. I believe it should be the background sound on the computer. Because my mic is an open mic. Eh? Dyer's middle tower is not what is it, it used noisy? to be. That is for certain. I think it's the, the, the computer, the laptop. Yup, you should all go and get mic. It's more fun. You can talk talk. With my vengeful spirit. Oh, come on, blood seeker. So blood seeker has advantage of items. Oh, and he goes in for the stun again. Well, he make a difference. Oh, and there. Well, what the heck is it? Oh, and there was two one fantastic one there from the blood seeker. Yep. What the fuck? There was a nice one. So the blood seeker coming in. To strength again. Goal difference. Not bad. Turning quite a bit. Ah, Bay, I can hear you. Radiant 
Dragon's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. B, why don't you say something first? And there's an unexpected pause. Oh, and there goes the unpause again. And we see the vengeful spirit taking a slow stroll back. I thought you should have TP back. I got two TPs for God's sake. Come on, Nick. Who oh, who's building S and Y? Oh yeah. Blood seeker as well. Oh yes. And that was a good that was a good one there. Wow another. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, nice one. He should have gone nearer. But never mind. Come on, and there he goes in. Nice one there. Oh, that was 3 1. Anyway, that's very good playing. He decides that he will, he's going to TP back. Who's that? Is that uh, Matthew? Matthew, you got your mic. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Matthew. Alright man, so you can do some commenting there. So how do you think about the gameplay so far? Who's gonna win? I don't know. I look quite funny just now. <laughs> anyway, Blood Seekers level 14 now. Natural Spirit trailing a bit back. As he goes longer, he will come in at a later time. Nonetheless, his damage is quite decent. With the same level as Bloodseeker, you probably have the same damage, but Bloodseeker having an advantage over level, so it's a higher base. And yes, we see Bloodseeker with Shangye and Yakshan. Oh, and there, Bloodseeker coming in. Strangely, the first tower for. The first tower hasn't gone down. This is going to be a really late game, man. Oh yeah, Jack can the comment so far in the match. What do you think so far? Oh, and there was a nice swap there. And a good stun there. Excellent. Wow, he's gonna oh and then he's gonna lose. Oh, 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 oh that was fantastic there. Oh, 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 oh man. That was a very very good play there. Excellent play there. By Nicholas. He finally decides to know that he can swap him into the tower. Yeah, Xavier should have died. Why is he running back again? What the hell are you running back there and forth, man? And so he goes for a recipe for sh Why he buys another recipe for? He buys another recipe for Shangye. What the hell he buys another recipe? So there we have Ah, he decides to sell away. Yes, and uh, our two coaches decides that they're so damn bored to go and MC and gain some money just for the fun of it maybe you should go top lane and fight it out or the bottom or the middle too but remember you're you're supposed to coach oh and uh, Nicholas has an advantage over the lane now going to the second tower yeah, Xavier better do something now A double D, is that a good chance there? We see a good chance there, Vengeful Spirit taking the opportunity. Oh yeah man, crap. Oh and that is fantastic there, good matchup there. 
two, three, excellent play. Yeah. By Nicholas. Very, very close. Both of them equal loops. Hats off for Nicholas. Good play. See, though I say that there's a DD, uh, I think I distracted, I distracted Xavier. Yes, both coaches. Now their skills are both almost even up. No, Bloodseeker having a two levels advantage, probably more base damage. But you can see that the Vengeance Spirit's damage is going to increase more over. Well, the. Gentlemen, now to give you an update. The time now is 23 minutes, and then how they just got the first layer of towers. So if I estimate the second tower and subsequently, I think they probably play this game for more than one hour. And that was a good one again. And what the hell are they doing? And that's a very good play there. Oh, and this time round, Xavier is using his brain more. He decides that he'll run first and let. Uh... Oh, that was a good one. A good play there. Oh, and the second tower is down. Looks like Nicholas is good. He's having a oh, what the hell is he doing again? And he got stuck. Dyer's yeah. middle tower has been denied. So where is the coach? The coach of the blood seeker? Shouldn't he be informing them? He should go nearer and do a. Should get him to go nearer and do a rupture instead of doing it so far, losing the advantage of the close range. I think Kenny you fall asleep already. Oh. But I don't think so. It looks like Nicholas is having it looks like Nicholas is playing a better game than Xavier. Taking down two towers. If you continue this way, you'll probably have an advantage over time. You know, because Xavier is panicking more and running back instead of uh, going up for a good deal. Them scared of the stun. Oh, again, he goes, he does it one more time. 
Very good play again by Nicholas. Teleports in time. Xavier should go up, should go up nearer and do a rupture instead of taking too much time. Yeah, spending a lot of money on TPs. But then again, it's a good play. He'd rather spend it on TPs than die. It's only about 130 gold than to die and lose 400 gold. But all this time there, Xavier decides that he doesn't go for a tower. So full case the tower. Excellent. Oh no! But he loses the tower. Nonetheless, 200 gold for Xavier. So the first tower going for the Radiant team. Or the Radiant individual. Hey Matthew, can you talk now? Yeah, man. But I got nothing to say. What the fuck? <laughs> say something lah. Yeah, show up Kenneth and talk. Hey, Kenneth, you can talk or not? Say something lah. Oh, oh, Kenneth, you can keep it quiet. I prefer to fight. Kenneth. It's going to be a damn long game there. Looks like the blood seeker decides to Oh! What the hell was that? But nonetheless, he did something He did something incredible. He silenced him, thought that the TP will disappear. But it doesn't look that way, Xavier. But again he got to get the because of that he got the lane advantage. I guess must be the coach ah. Hey Kenny, you tell him silence can silence away the TP, is it? Why is he running back again? Oh, and I know why he's running back. And you can see the items that he's buying. Why is he going for? He's trying to make this game so one-sided by his items. Yeah, of course I cannot say. Uh, why don't you click? Yeah, I can't tell you. Oh, oh, and he sends. Oh, that was a very good ambush there. Oh, nice one. But again, why did he stun first? He should have done the swap, then stun. Oh, and he does a swap this time. Nice one there. Oh, very good silent there in the meantime there. Also, to cover up his tracks. And Xavier runs back all the way. No, he doesn't. Oh, come on. He should have realized by now what he's dealing with. Yeah. Anyway. Nice one by Nick. And there you see Xavier running back again, always running back. Come from 
Who the hell has joined the, the scribble? Let me guess. Jack, Jack, no. Oh, Jack, I see. Oh, and I see a tactic there. Oh, there's a very good one there. Tactic establishing. But then again, it does not matter because he's going to go right into them. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, and he decided to make a longer trip. He goes one more round to UT, MRT station. And then from UT, instead of taking the MRT, he decided to take the bus. So it's what we call Lampa Palan, Singapore style. Oh, God. Lampa Palan, oh, there he goes. Uh, then he, he walks one whole round. From Amokil to UT and he decided to end up at UT again. Oh Radiant well done, that was a good run. And there. Finally, he hit oh. There's a good one there, stopping the tower. But anyway, the second tower is being siege from the Bloodseeker, Xavier. So what is he planning for this time? Probably going for more farming. Well, this time now is quite fair. So, but then again, we see the Blood Seeker having an advantage over Crypt Kill, 12 denies, and the Radiant Team 95 4. Nonetheless, Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Wow, he Black King's Bar for Crips. Well done, Black King Bar for Crips. This is the first time I see an excellent Black King Bar for Crips. Oh, and they go. What is it? What the fuck? Oh man, come on. They see each other every day. Oh, and there. Oh, oh, who's having the advantage? I cannot believe it! That was a fantastic play there by Nick. Yeah! Excellent play there by Nick. Yes, that's very funny. He silenced him. He should have silenced himself. He should have ruptured, silenced himself for more damage. But instead, he chose to silence the, the, the vengeful spirit. Come on, he's the blood seeker, he doesn't worry. He just run. <laughs> oh, and the vengeful spirit having the slight advantage pushing skulls now to the tower. What the hell is he doing again? He should have silenced himself. Come on! Oh, that was a good one there. Very good. Oh, excellent play there by Nick. Looks like he has become, he has awakened. And the Bloodseeker using the mistake of silencing the Vengeful Spirit instead of himself. By silencing, he, he threw away his damage advantage. Yeah, man, Kenny. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, excellent there. Excellent job there by Kenny. He's almost cooked, baby. I can't be a D2 match like an announcer and I suck. I'm Singapore announcer, they probably don't understand half the things I'm saying. Oh yeah. And Xavier out again.
Xavier, you must take note of your first spell. It actually gives you advantage also instead of silencing the fella. Yeah man, now that I realize that he... Both racks down in the mid lane. And there you see Xavier running back again, back to his creeps. And he Black King buff or creeps again, well done. So now his Black King bar going down to 6 seconds. Yep. Lots of things on the radiant side. Yep, that's true. God! What the hell is he doing? What is he doing? What are you doing? Oh my god, and that was all! And we should run now, take the opportunity to run, yes! Make the Ventral Spirit chase after him! Yes, make the Ventral Spirit chase after him! That's the point, you see, you have the rupture, make him chase! And after that, go, yes! Use the opportunity to run! Yes, I know, but at least just run! There's a very good, finally, a Black King Barn on there. Five seconds to save his life. But then again, Xavier almost makes the mistake of staying there to fight against the Venture Spirit. And Xavier buys a healing save. That's interesting. And a good game there, really interesting. Bloodseeker facing a lot of pressure in his base now with the Venture Spirit holding up very well in the main lane. His Black King Bar saving his life. Probably he might need to extend the duration of his black king bar by getting another one. That's right. Nick is now having an advantage over the map. He's playing with the blood seeker who will always have problems trying to find out where he's trying to run to. I'm amazed just now. But he gonna swap, he decided that he still go for the regen.
I almost believe you that you say if you bought observable box. Interesting. He goes for Helm of the Denominator. This is the first time I see a VS buying a Helm of the Denominator. I thought he would have gone for more damage. It's a unique view. Yes, that's right. He probably need a little bit of life. Oh, and he loses the advantage again. Yes, and we see the coach drawing something on the mini map. That's confusing me as well. Oh yes, he draws and he draws a nuclear bomb. A nuke. He fires a nuke from the middle lane into the main base. And he nuked the entire base. Transition for go and break them. Yes, that's right, Matthew. And finally, I see Xavier buying something and a healing save. He buys a healing save, that's interesting. But I don't think wait, let me see. Oh come on, at this game, at this time of the game, anybody who buys healing safe can be safe on. And what the, again, the Bloodseeker decides that he should go for a jog around his base instead of defending it. Yes, that's right. But then again, he decides that he go for a, a jog instead of... Uh, oh my god, and then again, and then he goes in, excellent. Finally, oh, and there's a oh, and there's a creep advantage. Having a oh, and but he forgot to having a tower, and he gets killed this time. And the vengeful spirit due to the helm having a slight advantage. Oh my goodness, he did not have awareness to know that the vengeful spirit is actually under attack. He could have gone and took the vengeful spirit, but he decided that he shall go for a, a bath at the fountain once more instead of a. Uh, And uh, oh oh oh, he he forgot. He doesn't know. Oh, he doesn't know that event. He has an ulti oh. that allows him to see. Oh, and he goes in. Oh 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 oh, oh 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 oh! Fantastic TP there. Excellent TP. Yes. Dyer's middle tower. He's under attack. He's having a lot of trouble. That's right, Xavier seems to be having a lot of trouble. Probably slightly distracted by the VS's dominating life span and damage. Give it a minute. Okay, we are now at 45 minutes of the game looks like in terms of creep count Xavier decides that he'll run back again and he goes. Very interesting. Oh! And he ruptured the creeps! That is fantastic! Xavier there decides that he will rupture the creep instead of the vengeful spirit. Excellent job there. And he misses something. Oh god! What was the coach doing? I believe the coach could have saw it and the coach could have guided him, but the coach did not tell him that there was. Oh, and there. 
He decides that he should marathon and run around back and he doesn't know. Excellent! And this time now, oh, that was a fantastic play there by Nicholas. Going in for the kill. And he decides to run away again. Fantastic there by fantastic play there by Nicholas. Yes, and that is a good indication from the coach once more. The coach is angry. The coach is signaling to Nick to use the ion cannon, the ion cannon, the base, the dire base. Wow, that was a fantastic swap! Oh my god, why did he swap? <laughs> he swap! Oh, that was, and this time that, he shows that the blood, the blood seeker has an advantage over close combat. Yes, he should have gotten out, but I was wondering why he swapped. Uh, Xavier that's right in front of his face, it's the first time I see somebody wants to swap a person right in front of him. And the coach for Xavier decides that he'll abandon and his bladder is more important. He goes for a P. And we see a sudden turn around the game. Oh, he forgot. That was a very good one. And Xavier gets swaps up and decides that he shall chase. Wow, that was finally a fantastic play, very nice, he decides that he blood rages himself finally, very good his damage, wow, finally he decides to blood rage himself instead of the vengeful spirit, we see a sudden change in the gameplay, and Xavier coming up top for a while, oh, and he purchases one very good item that he's gonna go bring again. Wow, Xavier almost running back again, living up to his name. Xavier run back. He doesn't... He just need to see the top left hand corner to understand that 42 seconds. Yes, and there we see a very even standing now between the first line of red gone for the Radiant and the Dire team. And then very strangely he decides to take the, the <laughs> he decides to take the save instead of the and he takes the cow and he dies, decides to send the cow in to fight. Oh no, that's not right. Yeah. Yes, he got the right item. Oh and that was that's what he won the pressure. And you see now the blood seeker coming up tops. In his lane, owning the Ventral Spirit, and that Ventral Spirit trying his luck. Yes, both party. That's right, the Ventral Spirit needs to utilize his range 
but so far he has been doing making slight mistakes like swapping the blood sticker right in front of his face that's the first time i see it but then again his uh, stunts are quite good to stun the blood sticker allowing him to have some very unique attacks so now the mid two towers is what the vs is depending on now so no, 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 no. So Bay, who do you think will win? I don't know man. Come on man, to be a caster you must be able to analyze the match. So gauging from still the... still have to see whether their yeah, stupidity yeah. will <laughs> fail their <laughs> match. <laughs> oh yes, we don't have skills this match, we have stupidity, we have swaps of uh, right in front of the face. We have funny we have swaps, funny we have funny BKB. Funny BKB. <laughs> we have BKB creeps, we see BKB creeps, fantastic. We see uh, Bloodseeker. Oh, and there is another oh, fantastic swap right there. Yeah. Swaps, and he decided to go for the but creeps. For no reason. And then he goes again, and then he oh. goes and silence, he makes the wrong silence again. He goes and silence the BS when he could silence himself, but because and of he the... he runs away again. Yes, it is <laughs> Xavier runs away one more time. That's yeah. what he does best. Probably he does a blood. And oh, Nick is. I think Nick thinks that he has a chance. Yes, Nick. Oh, 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 oh. Well, he's just tanking creeps right now. What is Xavier? This oh, I see what he's doing. He's trying to go for to buff up some of his life. Yes, and is he gonna? Th and what is he doing? This is us. And there you see Xavier okay, VS ignoring, is in what danger, right? yeah, and ignoring what the coach tells him. He fucking votes up, decides that he shall go. Unless the bus class knows what he's doing. We have a whole, oh, we have a whole new, we have, we have the coach new thing. Oh, oh, oh nice. run, run, Nick, run, all you want, Nick, run, 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 nice run, 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 oh. oh. He decides, he goes, he goes for the regen, but he runs himself to his death. Come That's on, a nice Nick. run, but I think he yeah. forgot to on his BKB again. <laughs> yes. And we have uh, Xavier at level 25 now. And what is uh, Xavier doing? I thought he should have making the opportunity of level 25. No, he decides to go and With get... With 4.3k right now. 4.5. Yes. Oh, he goes for oh, one... Nice episode nice. blitz. The, the soup. The soup bash. Let's just see how you use the combo. Yes. Normally people will try to swap the the soup bash. Oh, he oh, used the nice one on the crit. Fantastic there. Excellent your I job. He was testing out how to use it. Yeah, on uh, on creeps. Yeah, now he has to wait a full one minute for the for the bash to be to come out again. But I nice start, nice start, nice start. Yeah. Anyway, the game is about to reach one hour. You can see Bloodseeker holding the lane, holding the lane. Anyway, six seconds. We see going to see BS coming out soon. Epic one hour, the longest one v one I've ever seen in my life. There, both guys evenly match from the start, but Bloodseeker coming up tops. Twenty seconds. And now he has no stun for the for the game. <laughs> yes. And Xavier decides that he have a slow little wait outside the base. There you go, two seconds, one second on the stick. <laughs> He's ready. And yes, let us take a look at the... There goes that the rupture. There goes the and rupture. the BKB is still not popped. Oh my god, that's... Is he gonna die in his nice own base? Run. Oh, oh wow. that was a whole oh, but he gotta wait for the whole 30 seconds in order to to to, to charge up. Well in the meantime, Xavier is doing lots of damage to his base. You can see now 
Wow, he buys a recipe for radiance. This is the first time I see someone buys a recipe for radiance. Well done. He buys a recipe. He, he, he I believe he feels like he can throw the recipe at the at a Ventus Creation Space. <laughs> And there, oh, and there, Kenneth is taunting, he's taunting both parties to buy a Divine Rapier because that's the only way that one side can go and own the other side in the match. Oh, and we see, is this going to be the epic? Where's Nicholas going? Wow. And he decides to take a train to Yochukang, the north south line change to east west line. And the best and thing the is best he doesn't have any TP. Yes, what is he doing? He's trying to. I cannot detect what's he trying to do. Probably trying to find. He's trying to find a rune. Oh, regeneration doesn't help much. Fantastic, he got a regen room! And he tells people that there's a regen room! What the hell? He's telling someone there's the regen room, but this is a 1v1. Getting a regen room by losing the, his two tower. <laughs> and he decides to fuck? back door. Oh, he decides to back door. There's an advantage there. Good game, probably what by the, the coach. Like oh, and and what is? And Xavier, what the hell, Xavier? <laughs> what the hell is he doing? He decides that he he go for a marathon run to. To find what he is, this is a personal vendetta and both of them having a nice run for both sides <laughs> and look at Nick <laughs> Oh nice NC, I think he needs the money Yeah, he needs the money, he needs the creeps That's why he decides to go for a creeps Oh, and, and, and what is Xavier doing? Look at him now, he decides to change Yeah I think Nicholas time is up, he can't concentrate. Yeah. That's actually a good tra strategy by Jack. Because their oh, last tower is only a little bit. Oh yes! Back door, this, is but this is going to be extremely epic one! This is going to be extremely epic! I think the tower will kill him. Oh man! <laughs> oh, he can't. He decides that. He, he. On the other hand, Xavier is winning. Just one more hit, and he's only the throne left right now. Oh my God! This is the most exciting matchup. Both parties having good runs from Amokyo to UT, and back to UT again to Amokyo. And they come What's up there. What's he doing? Why is he run down? He has an advantage over there. Oh. Oh, then decide, he decides that he's gonna give a good one and look at them, they're running to the other end. Oh god, this is fantastic. <laughs> oh, they are having good runs. This shows the frustration of Zack. Yes. Oh, and the MKB. Oh, I see the tactic. I see the tactic. He's trying to buy a bit more time for better items. And look at Xavier, still running around with his uh, recipe. Hoping that his recipe can help him to win this, this game. This is the final engage. Yes. Who will come out tops? Who will... Oh. Oh, backstab. Oh, sorry, sorry. Is this fair from the start? We don't know. But oh, they're coming to that! Oh. oh! Come on, Nick, run! No, Nick, why are you running? And the BKB oh, is just uh, running? not doing anything! Nick, oh, no. oh! Oh, and this was fantastic! What the hell was Nick thinking again? GG! This is a good game. Is this going to be a good game? Uh, Xavier, stop thinking quickly. Is so, is so fucking pissed so off, right? right? Yes, the coach is so angry. The coach is mad that what is it? He's asking Nick, what is he doing? And finally, 
with his recipe, he comes out with more damage. Radiant. By means of a radiance. That's good. He decides that he's not going to risk it by going for Divine Rapier. He let Nick do that for him. But in the meantime, this game is one-sided now. Yes, 387 creeps from the BS. Yes. And we have 38 seconds, 37 seconds. GG. And he goes, is that good game there? Oh my god, this is going to be one-sided good game. He has 24 seconds and he can't do anything. Is this good game? Well done. <laughs> this is freaking one hour, one minute and 35 seconds. This is the most longest game of my life.